Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a front-facing selfie flash in any Android camera app. Now the iPhones had this feature for a couple years, and several Android phones have this in their stock camera apps. Basically, when you're taking a selfie and there's not enough light, the screen will briefly turn white while you're taking the picture, and just the light from the screen is more than enough to illuminate your selfie. But here's the problem. Even if you do have this feature in your stock camera app, which most people probably don't anyway, it's not available in apps like Snapchat and Instagram where you probably take a lot of selfies. That's where a new app called Selfie Flash comes into play. And by the way, that's all one word. It was created by Reactive Studios, and what it does is put a small button on your screen when you're using the selfie camera in any app. Then when you press this button, it turns into a large white circle that illuminates your face iPhone style. The key there is the any app part. Snapchat, Instagram, your favorite messenger, this will work anytime you're using the front-facing camera app on your phone. Now this is a brand new app. It only went up on the Play Store a few days ago, which means you'll probably have trouble finding it if you just search for it, so I'll put a link in the description below. But once you've got the app installed, you just have to grant a few permissions to get things working. First, there's the Draw Over Other Apps permission. This is so it can display that little button that turns the quote-unquote selfie flash on. So if this first button doesn't already say OK, Tap Allow Camera Access, then enable the switch on the following screen. Then head back to the app and hit this Allow Usage Access button. This is how the app will know when you're using the selfie camera in another app, basically. So find Selfie Cam on this next screen, then go into the menu and enable the switch up top. After that, head back to the Selfie Cam app. The last setup step is simple. Just turn on the switch at the top of the app, then press Allow on the permission prompt for camera access. But one thing you'll want to keep in mind is that this is a running service. That service detects when you're using a camera app and pops up with the button to turn on the selfie flash. But as we all know, background services like this can cause battery drain. So if you see your battery life take a dip, then you should probably control this app manually. In other words, only turn the switch on when you need the selfie flash, then come back and turn it off when you're done. Now that it's all set up though, let me show you how it works. First of all, nothing changes when you're using the rear facing camera in any app. It seems to know the difference between front and rear cameras pretty well, so it's not in the way when you wouldn't have any use for it. But when you switch to the front facing camera in any app, again, pretty much any time you have the selfie cam open, you'll see this little circle. Just tap that circle and it'll expand into a big white donut basically. This provides plenty of light to illuminate your face, but at the same time, you can still see enough of your viewfinder to line up your shot. This bigger circle will minimize again after you either take a shot or if you just leave it alone for a few seconds. In other words, you got about three seconds to take your selfie after you expand the donut. Other than that, it just works like you want it to work. So a pretty creative app with some awesome functionality, and in my opinion, what really sets it apart is the fact that it works in any camera app. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.